Well, thank you very much and welcome once again. Uh, my name is Eric Nyetun, your Kalenjin tutor. So today we are going to learn about the plurals. Yesterday we learned about the singulars of the first person, second person and the third person. So today is going to be more interesting. So before we begin, I would like you to subscribe to my channel. You can hit the subscribe button here. And also you can like my page on Facebook, which is Learn Kalenjin. So today we are going to learn much, much more about the Kalenjin language. Welcome. So we are going to look at the plurals of the first person, second person, and the third person. We are going to look at them under the present tense, the past tense, and the future tense. So we are going to look at the first person in the present tense, which is now. So first person will take ki, which means we. For example, if we say we are crying, we will say ki lirsoti. That is, we are crying. If you want to say we are not crying, this is going to take ma kirirsoti, which means we are not crying. That is first person plural for the present tense. Then for the first person past tense, it is going to take ko. Key. For instance, we were crying. That is the past tense. So it's going to take koki risoti. Koki risoti. Yeah, it's going to take koki. Then for the negative part of it, which means we were not crying, it will take maki. Maki risoti, which means we were not crying. Then for the first person future tense, it is going to take Key, which means ki kirisoti. No. So for the first person future tense, it's going to take ki, same as the present tense. In the present tense, we were saying kirisoti, which means we are crying. Then for the future tense, it's going to take Kirisoti. So they look similar. So it means that for you to understand more, you have to add what you call time. So you will say, Kirisoti Karun. We will cry tomorrow. That is the future tense. Or you will say, Kirisoti Chumamos. We will cry on Saturday. Kikwanye. Cast away. We will cook ugali on Tuesday. That is it. So it will take ki. Kirisoti, kikwanye, kilole, kichule, like that. So it is it takes ki for the future tense. Then it will take maki for the future tense. Same to the present tense. For the present tense, you will say makirisoti nguno, makikwanye nguno. Makichule nguno, which means it, it is now. So, to differentiate between the future tense and the present tense, you will have to indicate time of the action. So now, when we go to the second person, in present tense, it takes o. Or irisoti, which means you are crying. Then it takes mo, which means you are not crying. Mo irisoti, you see? Mo isoti, which means you are not crossing the river. Then, for not, or the negative part of it, it's going to take mo, which is mo risoti, you are not crying. Mo isoti, ainet, which means you are not crossing the river. So it takes mo, mo, mo for the negative part of it in the present tense for the second person plural. Then for the second person past tense, it takes ko o, 
for the positive part of it and then ma o for the negative part of it. So you can have this example, ko orir soti, which means you will cry. Then ma orir soti, which means you will not cry. So for the positive part of it, it takes ko o. Then for the negative part of it, it will take ma o. Ma o ai soti, ma orir soti, ma o chule, ma o kwanye. You see? That is it. So it takes ma o for the negative part of it under uh, the past tense. Then now for the future tense, second person plural, it will take o. Orir soti karun. Orir soti chumamos. Orir soti ichuma. You see? So it means you will cry tomorrow. You will cry Saturday. You will cry on Friday. So it will take o. Ochule, okwanye, owame. So same to the first person present tense. So to differentiate the present tense and the future tense, you will have to talk about the time. Because all of them takes o and ma o. Not ma o. Because all of them takes o and mo. Hope you are getting there. So, now for that person, it is quite tricky because sometimes it does not have a clear way to define them. So, for example, the first person, press, the third person present tense, rather, it takes, uh, it ends with, normally it can end with I, and sometimes you'll have to indicate, maybe by pointing or talking about or elaborating about it well. So, for example, when you say they are crying, you will say real sort, real sort. Then they are not crying, it will take mo, ma, not mo, ma, ma real sort. Are you getting? So the first part of it takes real sort, ma real sort. Kwanye, ma kwanye. Chule, ma chule. Are you getting? So normally the first part of it just takes the verb itself. For example, the verb chul. So you will add chule for the third person present tense. Are you getting? Yeah. So now for the third person past tense, it will take ko. Are you getting that? Then now, for that person, past tense, in the negative part of it, it will take comma. Comma ame, comma resort, comma chule, comma, like this, like this. Are you getting? So now, for the future tense, it takes the same as the present tense. But now you love to indicate the issue of time. So it will be real sort chumamos. Real sort chumapili. They'll cry on Saturday. They'll cry on Sunday. Then now when it comes to the negative part of it, you will uh, you will start with ma. Ma real sort chumamos. They will not cry on Saturday. So you will take what? Ma as the starting part of it. So what you need to note is that the present tense and the future tense, all the verbs are the same. But now you will have to indicate what you call time so that the person can now know if it is future or the present tense. So thank you very much. So in our tomorrow tutorial, we are going to learn about construction of sentences. It is going to amaze you people. So challenging sentences are quite interesting and you will really enjoy it.